the pet problem. Provided by the Newport News Public School Curriculum during our virtual learning time. Read aloud by Miss Bonzer. The pet problem. 10-year-old Joshua is reading a book in the living room when he is startled by the sound of the sliding door banging shut. Joshua sees his father coming inside, obviously upset. Joshua. Hey, Dad, I thought you were going to relax in the backyard. But that was the world's shortest nap. Dad. I was looking forward to a nap in the hammock, but I was shocked to find it in shreds. Joshua, how did that happen? Dad, well, why don't you come here to the window and take a look? Joshua walks over and looks into the backyard. Joshua sees the hammock ripped in half. The remaining two pieces dangling from the hooks. Joshua gasps when he sees his dog Apollo happily chewing on a piece of fabric. Joshua, Apollo did it, but why would he chew up your hammock? He's got a zillion things to play with. Dad, this isn't the first time Apollo has damaged something. Remember how Apollo dug up your mother's garden? I know you love Apollo, but we can't continue to let him destroy everything he sees. If we can't figure out how to keep Apollo from being so destructive, we'll have to find him another home. Joshua, you can't give Apollo- Dad, I like Apollo too, but I want to be able to relax in the backyard and not worry about which of my things he's going to rip apart next. Joshua, I could tie Apollo to the tree in the backyard and then he won't be able to dig up or chew anything. Dad, Apollo can't stay tied up all the time. We need to talk to someone who knows a lot about dogs. If we talk to Apollo's vet, he might have some information that will help us solve this problem. Joshua and his father wait with Apollo inside an exam room at Dr. Hamilton's office. Apollo barks as the door opens and Dr. Hamilton enters. Dr. Hamilton, how can I help you today? Dad, we've got a real problem. Apollo has been destroying everything in our backyard and we need to find a way to stop his behavior. Joshua, Apollo is the best dog in the world and I don't want to send him away. Dr. Hamilton. Apollo is a German Shepherd and needs to stay active. He's probably bored. Try walking him for an hour at least two times a day and take him to a dog park for exercise and train him so he learns what he can and can't do. Dad, we'll follow your advice, Dr. Hamilton, and see what happens. One month later, Joshua plays with Apollo in the backyard while his dad swings in a new hammock. Joshua, Apollo has gotten so much better that I can't believe this is the same dog. I'm glad we talked to the vet. Dad, I'm glad we found a solution to our pet problem, which means now I can relax in peace. All right, number one, what was the conflict in the story? A conflict is a problem, so I want you to describe what the main problem is in the story. And number two, what did the main characters do to try and solve the conflict? Number three, were their attempts to solve the conflict successful? How do you know? That means um, the problem that was happening in the story, the people that went to solve it, was their problem able to be solved? And how do you know? Number four, in ten words or less, summarize what happened in the story. You must include the main characters, the conflict, and the resolution. The conflict is the problem and the resolution is how the problem was solved. So who were the two or three main characters? Um, what was the main problem and how was the problem solved? And then write your answers down here. All right, guys, here is your writing prompt for the story. All right, what I want you to do is um, I want you to create a pet guide for a family looking to bring home a pet for the very first time and be creative. So give some directions and instructions for what a family should do when they're bringing home 
their pet for the first time. I need you to describe what pet it is and what things they need to know and need to do in order to um, be successful with their pet. Thanks. Love you. Bye.